Well, this is what I'm doing today. Uh, Harbor Freight had a, a sale. You know how they do that, you know, once in a lifetime event sale at Harbor Freight. It's a crazy Eddie blowout blitz. Crazy Eddie's not playing with a full deck because he's practically giving away TVs, VCRs, microwave ovens, stereo rack systems, video camcorders, anything and everything in home entertainment, and lots of home appliances too. Remember, we are not undersold. We will not be undersold. We cannot be undersold, and we mean it. Never have them. They had this one. And so, uh, this is a pretty good parts washer for folks like me who, uh, you know, just piddle around with wrenches at home. By the way, the music you're hearing in the background, if y'all don't know who Mazda Mitch is, you need to subscribe to his channel. He's got some good stuff. Even if you're not into Mazdas, uh, mini trucks, the old B2000s, B2200s and stuff like that. Uh, not the Ranger clone looking thing. I'm talking about the OG Mazda pickups. He's got some good content. I don't even own a Mazda pickup. I don't even own a Mazda anymore, but I still like his stuff, so. Check him out. That's him. He's always got some groovy music. Uh, a lot of 80s synth stuff, so it's kind of relaxing to listen to. Anyways, all right, back to the parts washer. That's what we're doing. So I'm gonna put this sucker together. I think uh, what I'll do is, instead of uh, going through the entire process of putting this thing together, um, Mainly because I don't know where the heck I put my tripod. I think it's in a closet somewhere. Whatever. I've been busy. Uh, it is nearly 90 degrees. It's February. And uh, this is the current state of my garage. I've got the two project bikes chucked over to the side. Um, Buell's in the same state it was last video. But the garage is not. So I've been moving stuff around. Uh, I still got a lot to do. I just got so much junk to go through, y'all. It's just, it's funny how that stuff tends to accumulate. There's a, uh, what I'm doing underneath there. It used to be a generator underneath there. I moved it to uh, another spot. Everything in that direction is pretty much the same. Uh, throwing away a whole lot of trash. You can see a big old box of trash out there. It's just junk that has been hiding from me or I just kept turning the other way. So you'll probably remember there used to be a shelf here. Maybe you don't, doesn't matter, but now it will be that parts washer will sit right there and a trash can will be in the same position it was before in the corner. Um, yeah, I lose some storage, but I gain something else that I've needed for a long time. And it puts me right next to that power outlet. So uh, I don't have to run any extension cords or anything dumb like that. And I can leave it permanently plugged in and it will definitely be seeing some use you know, I got work. All right, guys, we're up and running. It's pretty quiet. Um, smells good. Purple power smells pretty good. Didn't have that heinous uh, mineral spirit smell that I'm used to. You know, I was in the Air Force. Um, we had this uh, stuff called Aussie juice, and it was uh, relatively new back then. Now it's kind of well, it's been around for a minute. Um, it was a bacteria that naturally exists in the uh, ocean. I don't know, I'm sorry, it's story time, but it's still a cool story. Anyways, this stuff was pre preheated and it had some lanolin in it and it was <laughs> quote unquote safe to consume, but you know, I'm sure you'd end up with a case of the number threes if you, uh, you drank any of it. In any case, it was fantastic. Best cleaner I have ever used was that stuff, Aussie juice, look it up. I'll try and find it and put a link down below for you. Um, I can't afford that thing. I would love to have one of those cleaners, but I think the, the portable one is like, I don't know, like $700 or something. And then this one that's about this size is, uh, I think two grand, right? What's cool about it is that the little dudes breed in there and they kind of, they eat, they live on oil. So they eat oil. And so your parts end up looking absolutely fantastic. Well, I'm hoping I can get, you know, well, at least it'll be better than the kitchen sink, right? <laughs> I won't be upsetting my wife anymore. So I think this will be good, you know. Uh, we'll see. I'll uh, come back and let you know how it did. It won't be a review. I'm not going to tell you guys 
you know, any of my official stance on it, I'm just going to tell you this is where I'm at. I am also aware, I'm sure somebody's going to comment that, you know, I need to look at the upgrades. I know about them. I looked them up already before I even bought this, and uh, they're definitely on the table, one of which is a filter, a, a drain down there, um, a T here so you can add, you know, a, br a wire brush or a nylon brush with the, uh, the juice coming out, a valve to switch between the two. Lots of cool upgrades for this thing, including a seal, which I already have. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I just wanted to make sure the thing worked before I got too far along, and it does. So uh, anyways, yeah, I'm going to clean a couple parts and uh, enjoy my ownership. Until next time, y'all, peace out and keep it between the ditches.